Everything we go through in life is for a reason. So they say. I feel like it's true though. You know what I'm saying? What's up, y'all? This is 1020 at Awakenings, and I'm back again with another motherfucking video. Um, I hope you guys are looking good, feeling good, and motherfucking smelling good. I had a crazy night last night. So let's get into your reader, Scorpios. If you guys want to be a part of the dollar challenge, all you have to do is cash out $1.11 or any donation up until the 18th. Um, on the 19th of next month, I'm going to start posting um, each cash app. I think I want to do 20 names at a time. Okay, for one month, everybody needs to send these 20 people $1.11. Okay, and I think that's the fastest way to chop the list down. So that everybody can get their donations and we can keep it going. Okay, Scorpios. I know I don't sound like myself, but I'll tell y'all about it. Okay. <laughs> All right, Scorpios, let's get into it. Damn. So, Scorpios, right out the date gate, you know, you will be receiving a lot of money. This could be an inheritance. Okay. Uh, some of you guys don't know who your father is or you don't know who your mother is. Some of y'all could be inheriting someone. Some of y'all, y'all mom or your dad could be an alcoholic, okay? Um, or you could have a parent that is a drug addict of some sort as well. Um, somebody's going to be selling their house. You will have a lot of money, whether this be an inheritance of a property or just somebody selling a property that drank a lot and you will be receiving some of the proceeds of this sale. Um... You could have been neglected as a kid, like one of your parents were supposed to be watching you and you just was doing whatever the fuck that you wanted to do, okay? Some of you guys come from an alcoholic parent. Now, I don't know if this is in a property that y'all lived in, but you could be thinking about selling your childhood home, okay, um, to buy your dream home. But right out the gate, Scorpio, what has happened to you with your parents or whatever this is? does not define who you are okay some of you guys are thinking about doing real estate or just getting into the market don't worry about the people telling you the market is saturated no one's buying at this time don't listen to what other people say only do what feels good for you okay scorpio right out the gate you got abundance okay uh you're very healing yellow gold is all about healing energy okay so whatever happened with you and your parent as you grew up over time just know that that shit is healing to other people and you're going to have a lot of money scorpio and it's designed this way because you you inspire people okay a lot of you guys could be thinking about buying a safe for some reason all right it's your destiny to be abundant i know that sounds crazy it don't sound cliche but you guys have to understand that people who feel that they're going to be successful, people that feel that they're called to do something that's amazing, it's because it's their destiny. It's because success is calling them. It's because, you know, the 1% is calling me. It's like, hey, this is where you need to be. Okay, your destiny is calling me. A lot of people get caught up in a day-to-day -day energy like, um, my mom need this, my dad need this, this, this place need this, my job need this. Okay, but in actuality, your soul is urging you to get out of this vibration. It's your destiny to pursue your gifts. It's your destiny. Now, a lot of you guys have to understand that everybody goes through purgatory. Purgatory, to me, is your 9 to 5 job. You know, nobody don't want to be told to go to work at 8, get the fuck off at 2.30, get the fuck off at 5, ride in traffic for 4. Nobody want that shit. But there is something that you're supposed to do there. Teachers that you're supposed to inspire kids that you're supposed to instill information in okay co-workers that you're supposed to be there for 
uh, the lunch lady line, the lady who's in your, your cafeteria, somebody you're supposed to be sweet to. Maybe you work on a place where it has a gate and you always see this one old lady. It's important for you to tell that old lady that you appreciate her, you know, get that old lady a gift. There are so many things of people and places inside purgatory, right? Inside that nine to five that you're supposed to inspire, uplift, and help create. That's what y'all don't understand is happening in purgatory. Once you're out of purgatory and you can just live off your own fruits of your labors is, is where I am, you have now ascended to a higher level. There's a way bigger higher level than where the fuck I'm at, remember, because there's people who now make one decision for the day that can impact 20,000 employees or 50,000 or 60,000, okay? All right, so you're going to be very happy about your destiny with grief here in reverse, okay? Your destiny is going to bring you away from an alcoholic mother or alcoholic father. This could be somebody who works very hard to get good grades, to graduate from school, to go to a good university or good college, okay? Now, and this could have been you as an adolescent, all right? But you're going to be very happy with your destiny. Some of you guys had a dog, but your dog passed away. You, you feel a lot of guilt. Okay, to to keep your siblings, protect your siblings, okay? Or you and your siblings had the same opportunity to go down some kind of quest, but your siblings chose another way, okay? They, they chose another way to be happy. And the quest for you was very different. Some of your siblings could have tried to guide you or uh, off this quest. Some of them could have felt like your quest was obsolete. Your quest was some bullshit. You don't know what the fuck you're doing. You don't have protection. You're not moving in the right direction. And you're not being um, seen in the eyes of God. You're not being protected by the eyes of God. Whoever this is, they're very fucking religion, okay? religious, okay? And to be real with you, your quest of abundance keeps coming in. Abundance was your very first card pouring in through all these different things. So no matter... Scorpio, what somebody tell you, you got a drunk ass daddy, you got a drunk ass mama, okay, you got a sister who's an alcoholic, a brother who's an alcoholic, you know, you and your brother, you and your sister went down different quests, okay, some of y'all come from a stable household, but some of y'all have alcohol abuse right in your fucking home, now, the quest for you is very different from other people, and people's perception it's very different on what you think your quest is. Like some people feel like, oh, your quest don't got nothing to do with fruits with seeds in it. But if you on a quest and you claim you know God, you know, you, you claim you know the word, you need to stop eating a lot of dead caucuses, okay? Now, you guys may think that I'm against meat, but I'm not against meat. The thing is that the meat that we eat and ain't meat is cloned chicken, so it's a little bit different than what we're trying to articulate to you guys. You see what I'm saying? And once you know better, you do better. You tweak where you eat. You tweak, stop eating at all these places. Like, reels are coming up about Panera and, and the bread in Panera. Reels are coming up. I mean, so many different things. Weed, pesticides, all these different things that people are putting in their food, and they're exposing these companies on a massive level. Once you know the place that you eat at has been exposed, they're killing Chick-fil-A. They're killing the shit out the chicken sandwich everything once you see that take a step back stop feeding that shit to your kids stop feeding it to yourself okay and start to choose to live okay go to the farmer's market every time i go to the farmer's market i see monique okay monique the comedian she'd be right there at that punts Ponce de Leon Farmer's Market. You know, I go really early and every time I see her, I just know it's where I'm supposed to be because that lady got a whole bunch of money and I want a whole bunch of money. You know what I'm saying? So there is truth in alignment. It is truth in where you show up and bump into each other and see people, okay? All right, Scorpios. All right, it's really important for you to pay attention to your kids. Your kids could be idle right now. You guys really need to understand that you bring a lot of happiness to your kid's life. It's in your destiny. It was your destiny to be picked at this person's parent or this person's mom or this person's dad, okay? And they picked you because you were going to be full, filled with abundance and not someone who was going to constantly live a story of their parents or live a story of a past. This, this child knew to pick you as their parent because you was going to take them down a different quest that was going to teach them the knowledge that they need to be successful. Your kid could have Asperger's. Your kid be, could be autistic. Your kid could be um, on the spectrum. Your kid could have a learning disability. And I just want you guys to know that those kids are the scholars of this generation. Okay, the reason why they are away the way that they are is because they're designed to not get caught up in some of the things that we got caught up in. Okay. Um, all kids that grow into every year, every generation has a secret component that God puts in them that beats whatever antidote 
that the universe is putting out for them okay these new ones they won't be controlled by the computers they will actually master the computers just like the 80s babies did and that's kind of why elon musk has made space camp and at this place because you know elon musk is autistic they don't they don't have regular curriculums they don't get grades they don't have none of that shit. okay and it's and they get to play roblox master it they do coding it's really amazing so some of you guys need to look at different alternatives for your kids to go to school to learn okay self-worth is here in reverse scorpio i strongly feel like somebody feels like you're attacking them okay and they feel like it's, it's fucked up because they've done as much as they could to make you happy or make you feel not a lot not a lot you know just enough that's more than what they're doing to other hoes or other niggas and they feel like you should be okay with what the fuck they're giving you you know what i mean and i want to tell you scorpio at this time you need to leave this person alone and the reason why you need to do that is because this person does not understand your views and your perspective. They can only see things from where they are. And it could get nasty. It could get to the point where this person feels like you're you're teaming up on them. You're ganging up against them. And they're going to be vicious to you. And you might have to get vicious. So what I'm telling you now, Scorpio, is to leave something where it's at. Because someone feels like it's a personal attack. And you're not personally attacking somebody. You could just be doing something that's very general. And I know that I am a victim of this constantly people think that i'm talking about their situation um and in actuality i'm just reading these cards and i'm literally doing what they tell me to do i don't even know you know who watching me you know i found out my god sister was watching me and i'm like girl why are you watching that that is for grown people she like actually i am grown <laughs> you know and she is grown you know but i still kind of think of myself as a kid even though people think then I'm grown. You know, somebody was like, you a grown woman. I'm like, I'm grown woman. I'm not grown woman. Shit, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> you know, I, I don't, okay? I had a fucking meltdown this morning, okay? I don't know what I'm doing tonight. And now I feel like I might be doing something wrong, you know? So follow your heart. Your self-worth is super important. Cherish yourself, Scorpio. Okay, abundance is yours. So stop worrying about the bag to this magnitude. And if you are a single mom or a single dad, understand that there is going to be money provided for you to be able to help your child. Your child could be Korean. Okay, your child could have a bang. It could wear a headband. You could have put the baby in a skirt today. Okay, um, they could have penny loafers or something like that. Some of y'all could be very concerned on how you're going to buy your kids clothes, shoes, whatever this is. Just understand that there is money coming in to, to take care of this child in whatever way possible. Your child could need a tutor. It could need one-on-one. -on -one. Whatever this is, you will be provided for. There is an angel here helping you, Scorpio. Okay. You also have respect. There has been much help from people that you received. Be grateful to those, my dear. Okay. So there is somebody here that you have respect you've given respect to them and they've given respect to you and you know you thankful for the respect you know you always got to be grateful when somebody show you respect and show you that they appreciate you i want to talk a little bit about respect you know respect is righting a wrong you know what i mean and, and admitting that you're wrong about something that is not something to uh be boastful about you 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 apologize because you have integrity. That's the only reason that you do that for. It's not really for the person you apologizing for. It's always just for you. You know what I mean? Because people going to do fucked up shit. You know? But when you are a decent person and you do fucked up shit, you apologize for the fucked up shit you do. And you don't repeat it. You know what I mean? It says, create more value so somebody is thinking about being more of a stand-up person being more of a stand-up girl and maybe even being more of a stand-up parent it says be bold and pinpoint your outlook don't be afraid to show your true colors because you are unique and this is what is different your values from your social norm so a lot of you guys think it's cool or maybe it's somebody outside of you to be shysty to be nasty to be a hoe you know to be thought filled to be thought mental but it is it, it's cool it's a social norm right now in our society and you know rappers show you that and artists show you that and you in poverty you know what i'm saying 
uh, people who are part of the 1% don't even engage into things that don't have values. They have core beliefs that they stand true to because the world is governed by core beliefs. So if you're somebody who's thinking about your social norms and how you want to be portrayed in the world and how that's important, like how your boys see you and your boys aren't even invested in any goals. Your boys aren't invested in any of the things that you are, but you're trying to emulate them. Your homegirls ain't invested in any of the shit that you are. They want booties. They want titties. They want inflated shit. They want all these things but if you get all that inflated boobs small waist and you doing it just for yourself for you to feel good for feel you to feel fulfilled for you to finally feel like okay i done gave all these babies and i want to get my body intact it's always behind the intent if the intent is to make you feel good and boost your confidence go right ahead but if it's over here to get a man if it's over here to get the biggest bag if it's over here to 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 lust out people from their marriage you doing it for the wrong reasons and you're not gonna get the right attention from that okay I love you guys. I hope this reading helps you in some kind of way. It was kind of deep, but you know, create uh, values because values is what's going to give you success. Values is what's going to bring you abundance. Standing on what you say and making sure that is law is what's going to give you that clarity that you need to take you to the next level, Scorpio. I love you guys and I'll see y'all in the next video. Talking to the moon. Trying to get to you